Hi Aries, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you're doing pretty well this, this week. This is a reading for any sun, moon, or rising Aries. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a few oracle cards for additional uh, information and messages. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, first two cards, I'm going to choose the awareness of the week. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In this Nine of Pentacles, this woman is standing in her garden, her walled garden, you get a sense of privacy. You get a sense of opulence, of security, of comfort. She displays her pentacles. She has lots of grapes. And she has her falcon on her gloved hand. So this is a card of success. It's a card of being independent and of making the good decisions and perhaps the sacrifices in order to get to this place. And once you've been able to do these things of um, knowing when to work hard, when to peel it back a bit, um, perhaps uh, getting with the experts, you, you've done what you've needed to do in order to build this comfort or the security or the firm foundation within your life. Once you reach that point, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Here's the sense of... Um, having a pastime in many ways. The falcon, the falcon who is sitting so calmly and is obedient to the power of this lady. So you have power, trust your instincts, do the work behind the scenes, and you know, don't be shy, enjoy what you're working for. You know, find enjoyment from what you're creating. So then we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. And as an awareness, this is an awareness of, you know, life is ever-changing. Things happen. They come, you know, events come into our life. Some are good, some are bad. Within a moment's notice, this wheel is movement. The events in life, you know, everything is turning. You know, behind the scenes, the universe is doing its thing. We're doing our thing. And so... Whether something changes in your life for the better, it's a matter of how you respond. Whether something changes in your life unexpectedly for the worst, it's a matter of how you address it, how you uh, think about how it's going to impact your life. Ultimately, you have will and you have a mind of your own in order how to control how you feel. But this could suggest that things are speeding up in your life, that there, things are moving along, and, and something unexpected could be coming your way. So now let's look for guidance. Okay, so we have a couple of nights moving in different directions. Interesting. With the Knight of Swords, you know, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air sign. This Knight of Swords is charging right in, getting right in, ready to roll. Sword is raised, eyes are straight ahead, the horse is in movement, the wind is blowing them back, but he's going to get right in there. So it's a matter really of getting right into a situation. Often, knights are on a quest and the Knight of Swords is very concerned about the truth, the 
clarity of a situation, communicating clearly, fighting the good fight. So you may be getting yourself in a situation where, where you're coming in and maybe you're helping to un, you know, unveil the truth, to, to get to the heart of the matter. At his worst, this is an impulsive energy. At his best, this is someone who may come to your defense within your work life or your private life, someone who is going to, um, again, use intelligence and reason to get to the facts of the matter. The facts of matter often bring us to the truth. So this is a perhaps movement towards finding truth in a situation. And then we have this other knight here. Slow and steady wins the race, the Knight of Pentacles. And this Knight of Pentacles is saying, slow down. Think about things before you make decisions. Take your time. Know what the outcomes are. Be mindful of your resources as you make these decisions. So in terms of guidance, it's very interesting that we have two knights that are coming from different places, really. Knight of Swords, seeking truth, jumping right in, ready to participate, ready to bring skills and talents, ready to um, fight for clarity, fight for, for honesty. Knight of Pentacles is not moving. Think about things. So in terms of guidance, again, it's going to be, uh, it could be a very, uh, it could be a A or B type of choice for you. Like, are you going to get in there, uh, get right in there? Or are you going to take your time before you deal with any changes or things that are happening? Let's look where the outcome may take us. Well, great news. The outcome takes you to success and to abundance. That getting to the truth of the matter, diving right into whatever changes come your way, also doing your homework, taking your time, and understanding what you're getting yourself into perhaps leads to contentment, fulfillment. Here's another nine, nine of cups, nine of pentacles, enjoying what they have built and fought for and worked for and sacrificed for, feeling very content, feeling blessed with what you have, proud of what you have, nine cups. So this is also a wish card to make a wish, to set your atten intention. It should come true. And as further evidence, here's the six of wands. The Six of Wands, he is riding this horse. He is going into town as a victor, as a winner. Again, the theme of behind the scenes, sacrificing, working hard, doing what it takes in order to reach your goals to be accomplished. Whether your goals are relationship-focused, um, whether it's work or whether it's work-related or hobby-related, it's a matter of applying yourself, showing leadership, doing the things that you need to do. You will be successful. People will recognize you. This is your chance to shine, to be recognized, to be probably a role model in many cases. If this is work-related. You could benefit from a bonus, perhaps, a nice email, some stroke of good um, uh, job well done, but really, uh, the movement and the changes that are coming are going to result in success for you. Continued success and abundance. And you are able to enjoy the rewards. So now let's choose a card for meditation, focus area for the week.
Journey by moonlight. Believe in magic. So your nights may be taking you on a journey. Believe in magic. And that's going to be the magic that you create with your actions, with your movement, with your big picture. But you're going to be having success. So yes, believe in magic. And now let's choose a card for spirit or emotional self. Relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. And you know, I think that this is one of the biggest things to think about with the Wheel of Fortune. It's a matter of how you react and respond. It always is. It's up to you of how you can, you know, as the expression goes, I think it's called turning lemons into lemonade. You know, it's how are you going to approach the situation and figure it out. And finally, Let's choose a card for love. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. So it's a positive affirmation and you may encounter people where you think that there's <laughs> no love in their heart, but if you can be empathetic and compassionate, there may be underneath the surface. So it's just a simple, uh, wonderful thought, which is always focus on love, focus on the goodness in people. It goes a long way. This is what I have for you for the week and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I really appreciate it and I love hearing from you. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you next week. Take care.